In my previous episode, episode 64, Can We Improve IQ? Yes or No? Getting membership for free. How? I filmed this video with a search title, How Can We Improve IQ? And Mr. CJ Project left this comment. Hello, Mr. Kim. Please, I would love to see a video from you about a day life of Thomas Kim. How do you keep your learning track and the books you read and how to overcome complexity of the books you read? How long you spend on a book? Most of the books you read are usually thousand pages and more. So how do you manage to read all the books, study and make video in a short time? By sharing your method, one can learn from them. Your videos inspires me a lot. Thanks. Thank you very much, Mr. CJ Project. It's very easy. Do some basic calculation on your own. If you do some basic calculation and trust the result of your calculation or computation or evaluation, if you trust the result of your calculation, then you can practice your strategy based upon your calculation. Most of the books you read or read are usually 1,000 pages and more. So how to do manage to read all the books and study make videos in a short time? Generally speaking, the thicker the book, the more purpose or the more wordy. By purpose or wordy, I mean the book is in more detail, in deeper detail, so easier to understand. Also, if you can understand, for example, 50 pages in a day, how long does it take? It doesn't take long. Just say you are slow at reading and understanding. You can read and understand 10 pages in a day. How long does it take? It takes at most 3 months. But most experienced people can read 20 or 30 or 50 pages in a day at least. Of course, it depends on what's the subject matter of the book. Even advanced mathematics if he has some experience in advanced mathematics, for example, he can read at least 10 or 20 pages in a day. If you trust your calculation and keep practice based on your calculation, you cannot fail to read books quick and fast. As I explained in my previous video, to read advanced books, you have to read multiple times from cover to cover. You have to read multiple times. So, when you are reading your new book for the first time, you have to read the book quickly. You have to admit yourself that some parts of the chapters or sections or even paragraphs you cannot understand. Then you have to be tolerant of yourself and accept those parts. You have to move on, move on to next section, next chapter. You have to visit every each chapter, every each section, every each paragraph at your first reading. But admit yourself that you cannot understand them all. But still, move on until you reach the final chapter of the book. Then you have to come back to chapter 1 and read your book again. By the time at your second round of reading, you at least know what's in the book, what you will learn from the book, and know what's explained well in the book. So at your second round of reading, you can do cross-reference in the same book which enables you much efficiently and effectively understand those harder parts of the book. By doing cross-reference in a book itself, 
you can understand the harder part of the book much more efficiently and effectively. Study and make video in a short time. I don't make videos to win compliments or praise from my audience. I don't film videos to impress my audience or for their recognition. I film videos out of pragmaticality or practicality. For example, I was about to film a video about OpenGL and MFC integration, especially MFC multiple document project template. And I haven't used MFC framework very long time, so I need to review or brush up how to create multiple document project. This is my own application, my own creation. For example, this application supports widely different multiple document. like this. Also, detachable fans. I can also create text editor in this application. This MFC application supports wider heterogeneous document, widely different document. When I create this application, everything looks so simple and obvious. Everything looks so simple and obvious. But I cannot remember how I implemented all these things. So I filmed document. I filmed two videos about how to create multiple document interface video. Hi, my name is Thomas Kim. In this session, we will uh, we will resume the previous session from where we left off, and we will because I filmed this video about multiple document interface application using MFC. I can readily pick up MFC multiple document interface for integration with OpenGL. From my YouTube channel, if you scroll down, you can find C++ GUI programming using Qt on Windows for the first time, C Sharp programming for desktop application using Windows Presentation Foundation, C Sharp C++ CLI .NET framework with MFC, MFC MDI application, for example, Four videos. If I haven't filmed this video, I may not able to recreate or re-implement such complex application. It is very advanced application because I filmed these videos. I can create such application again rather quickly. This document is very complex and rich with lots of features. It supports a variety of document types in a single application. That's why I film videos so quickly.